Bill Mahler is here to explain why some company owners need to divorce their business models. Bill? Angie, to gain market share to grow, so what do companies typically do? Well, most put all their energy into coming up with new products. But the world is changing. Commerce is now moving into the sharing economy, and sharp-eyed companies there are putting all their attention into innovative business models. Karan Girotra, he wrote a book called The Risk-Driven Business Model. He's a professor of technology and operations management at the International Business School in SEED. So give me examples. The sharing economy? So Bill, the sharing economy is, is an economy where we create a marketplace out of things that folks have and other folks want. For instance, an empty bedroom in your apartment. Airbnb helps you rent it out to folks who are looking for perhaps a place, a place to stay in the night. That's the sharing economy for you. So what companies are operating successfully in that arena? So Airbnb, like I mentioned, Uber, Lyft, uh, Instacart, which a company which helps you get your groceries, all of them are exploiting the sharing economy. How about uh, Zipcar, car sharing, uh, all the bike sharing programs? Right, so all of a bike share is an, another great example. Rather than you owning your own bike, which might be an expense, you get to uh, use a bike for a few hours, a few minutes a day. How can companies that are not playing in that uh, space move into that direction? So companies have taken two directions. First, companies have started some in-house programs, bringing their customers in, sharing ideas from the customers. The other option is always acquiring, uh, acquiring other successful players who've made this happen. How about companies that are, are not making the transition and right. are failing? Right, so th that is the, there are a lot of incumbents who have not been able to embrace the sharing economy. For instance, traditional, traditional hotel chains, traditional uh, taxi companies, and they've, uh, they've suffered as that. Some of them try to uh, act, go the legislative route, try to ban the sharing economy. Uh, not very successfully, I might add. I know we have pharmacies that are doing this. They have in-house little mini clinics now. Right, right. So uh, the traditional hospital would put in a, a big facility, and they're losing market share to, to a small clinic at a pharmacy which does one thing, but does it really, really well. Karan Girotra, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.